are the housework. It's one of these things that needs to be done, but it's also one of the biggest reasons people hurt their back in the first place, and definitely one of the biggest reasons people go back to square one just as they're getting better. But here are my four top tips on how to do the housework without hurting yourself. As the lady there is saying, housework may be cool, but don't overdo it. Listen to her, she knows what she's talking about. First of all, and ladies, I'm talking to you, sorry to be sexist, but you need to have patience. Literally hundreds, maybe thousands of times, I've seen people doing so well and getting better, and then the day they start to feel better, they go and blitz the house and they try to catch up on everything that needs doing, whether it's the pile of ironing or the dusting or the hoovering or all of it. And they get back to square one and they get very disheartened about that. You need to have a bit of patience. When your back's healing, it's the same as a twisted ankle or a cut on your skin. It takes time. It takes time to heal. And as soon as it starts to feel better, that doesn't mean it's fixed. That means that you're on the right track. But you need to have patience. Ask for help if you can, even if it's only temporarily. And the ironing may have to wait. When you're changing the bed or cleaning the bath or doing the dishes, try to bend at your hips and your knees instead of just bending at your back. Take the strain off your back by just dipping your hips and your knees ever so slightly and it takes a lot of pressure off the muscles in your back. Some people actually change the bed on their knees so they don't have to bend as much. When you're vacuuming, go forwards and backwards straight in front of you. Don't try to turn it round in an arc, turning it round corners, because that puts tremendous pressure on the discs in your lower back. I'll show you a little video about this in a moment. And last but definitely not least, the garden. After horse riding, gardening is probably the most dangerous sport for your back that I've seen, if you don't do it properly. What usually happens is, just like with the housework, the first sunny day, everyone goes out for six hours and does themselves in. So the trick is to know your limits and have a little break before you need to. Don't wait until your back tells you to stop. And that might be trial and error. So if you find that you can do 45 minutes before your back really aches, then stop after 30 minutes. Have a cup of tea, sit down or walk around a little bit, just change positions, and you'll probably find you can go back and do another 30 minutes. And if you keep doing it that way, you'll find you can get a lot more done with a lot less pain. How to do the vacuuming safely. Basically do it like this, forwards and backwards in a straight line, directly in front of your body and not like this. If you try to steer it around corners or around furniture, that puts a lot of stress on your back and that can lead to a lot of problems. So, just do it like this, forwards and backwards, change your body position if you need to.